hello. Today we're going to be reviewing the Studio Series 90 uh, Galvatron. Now, I like this figure. The figure's pretty good. Uh, he was one of my Christmas gifts, so yeah. Um, and it good, it's good to have him since uh, I was in debate on pit, picking either Crosshairs or Galvatron for this, for one of my buys, and I picked Crosshairs. And I instantly regretted it, so I'm so happy I got him uh, for Christmas. So, yeah. He's pretty good, but there are a few flaws to it. Um, a few flaws to it. Most of it's in the alt mode, though. So, yeah. Uh, but robot mode is pretty much flawless. I have no complaints about it no loose joints no um no stuff that doesn't like want to click in and stay in in robot mode but i do have one complaint and it is that there is supposed to be a few more paint on the figure because bucks it shows different paint on each on the figure so, like at the top, he was supposed to have more of a darker, and I know it looks a little dark in camera because that's because of my thing is trying to ch change it, but his face was supposed to have a little bit more paint on it, a little bit more dark, darker paint, but they added this blue that doesn't really pop in most cases, sort of gets lost in there, and I feel that's pretty much... No, that's not pretty good, since in the movie, he's pretty vibrant, not just with, like, silver, but he also has a few colors, like orange and blue, but that wasn't on there. And especially on the gun, as you can see on the gun, it isn't painted. Like, it doesn't have the orange on it. So I think that was pretty, that, was, that sucks. But yeah, that's, like, another, I, that's just one of the, that's just the only thing that I have about him. That's not a nitpick I'd have about him in alt mode. Alt mode, robot mode. So, yeah. But, it's alright. It's not, it doesn't make him bad, but still. Um, but, yeah. He is a, a good figure. Uh, we're gonna start off with the head sculpt and then our, just articulation in general. But at the head, um, it is painted pretty good. I like it. You can, see, you can definitely see the pupils of the figure pretty well. But yeah. Um, his head is on a ball joint, so it can move amazingly. It can look up, it can look down, move side to side. Um, but I know he's supposed to look angry, but he mostly looks like a crab. Like, for some reason, I'm not seeing a mouth on there. I'm seeing a mouth, uh, a mouth. A mask instead of a mouth? I'm not seeing any mouth. Unless his mouth is open. I think it is. I can't tell. Because it's very flat. And it looks, just looks like a crab. And which I think that's funny. Um, his arm can go that, that far out. Uh, his elbow is double jointed. So that's cool. He does have arm rotation. But no wrist rotation. So yeah. And he does have a little bit of blue paint on chest and arms. So, yeah. Uh, he does have waist rotation. So, that's cool. Very good waist rotation. And you can get an ab crunch uh, with the transformation joint that's in there. So, yeah. He does have at least 90 degree bend. And a little bit of leg rotation. He does have pivot and backwards pivot as well. Well, if I can get it. You can barely get it, but if you move it, move one of the panels. Oh god. I can't get it. If you move the panels, you can get a backwards pivot. But I don't know what you use it for. So, yeah. What articulation you use it for. But accessories, he does come with a missile in his chest. 
So yeah, just like storage. Uh, it does clip on to this little bit because it has a little clip, just a little place to insert. Boom, you got missiles. Um, I just do wish it was the tips were painted because in alt mode it does go onto one of the, it does go onto this piece right here, and it's all black so you can barely see it. I mean, I'll put some silver on it. But yeah, I like how it tabs onto the arms and it can tab into the chest. I think it's really cool. Um, but it can't tab on. It can tab to this arm, but there's no place to put the gun on on any other arm because it's only supposed to tab into his left arm. Sorry, not his left arm, his right arm. So yeah, let me just get it off. So yeah, it can't tab into to the can't fit. I mean, unless it's rotated, but like, these guys just, these, when he moves his arm, you know, oh, I'm gonna shoot that guy. No, I'm shooting below. So, yeah. You can't really do that. So, it just stays on his right arm. But, yeah. Cool. Pretty cool. Now, let's get into, like, the comparisons of this figure. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, here we have him alongside uh, Street Series 92 crosshairs, I believe. I believe that's what his Street Series number is. But yeah, um, obviously, crosshairs is the deluxe, and Galvatron is a Voyager. So yeah, there's a clear height difference. But I just wish um, crosshairs was a little bit taller because he is the size of Bumblebee uh, as a figure. But he was a little bit taller. He was like a little bit taller, like as tall as Drift, I would say. But yeah, uh, there, there they are. Have a uh, Series Series 100 Bumblebee. Now I do not have a Bayverse Bumblebee, so yeah, uh, he's like uh, substituting a Bayverse Bumblebee. Obviously, this is a Deluxe, and this is a Voyager. Uh, excuse me, sorry. So yeah, um, clear difference between height. That's oh, so pretty cool. Here we have a uh, Voyager, uh, Street Series, Voyager, Rise of the Beast Prime. This is substituting Bayverse Prime because I do not own him, or a any Bayverse Prime. So yeah, this is the only movie Prime that I own. But yeah, obviously they're both equally the same height. So yeah, uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. But now let's get into the transformation of Galvatron. Okay, so to start off, we're gonna have we're gonna want to rotate the arms back, and then use the double double jointed elbows to move it, and then make sure you move the missile out of his chest, and then go to the back, untap this piece, and flip the head in. Make sure this is up, and just untab. Now, when you're gonna untab these panels. Make sure you get it from the actual tab itself and not the arms because it could break it. So yeah, just, just make sure you have it in pretty much. So, uh, make sure it's like this. It doesn't have to tab into anywhere, it just rests in there but you just make it like that so and then just make sure this is down and then now we're gonna go to the legs now to get it done we gotta untab these panels so yeah, make sure we untab these panels on the back of his leg now, now bend the, the feet down and just bring them up and rotate just rotate them off to, rotate them off to the side and flip this flip up and on tab and then move that toe up so make sure it looks like this and you're gonna want to do the same thing for the side so flip up the tire or the wheel I don't know um, then on tab then flip and then these will tab in together. should tab in together yeah 
just dab it in like that. And now, waste joint, the waste, you untab it and flip it until you get the front, until you get the truck. And but before you do that, you're going to want to put these, like just flip them over because they do make the side, the side of the truck, but you're going to want to bend the legs so it won't get in the way of this. You just got to make sure it's straight. And uh, just, just going to try and engulf it. So what you're going to do as you're bending it forward, try just to make it just make it go. That's it. That's all I can give you because it doesn't, the legs don't really tab in. They just rest at it or unless they do, unless I've just been doing it wrong because I cannot for the life of me get these to rest. So yeah, just make sure they tab in to the truck. Now, this is where some of my issues come in, like panel lining stuff. And so yeah, just stuff that's not like tab in or like fit in. So yeah, just try to make sure it sits properly. So uh, that says further I'll get into it. I'll fix it later, but yeah, got that part. No matter what you're going to do, just flip the tires in and then flip these here. Do the same thing here, flip that here. Still going to make sure everything is lining up properly. That does not look correct. Yeah, that does not look correct. So we're just going to have to fix it. Okay. Boom, now it looks good. Now go to here. Flip it in. Now this does tab in here. But what you can do, get the missiles. There's a little... It's really slot, and this will just merge into here. Then don't do that. Ah, don't don't do that. Hang on. Um, tab that back in, and just make sure it just stays in there. Tabs, and boom, I got that. Uh, now go here, flip these down. And just flip that in, and boom, you got yourself Galvatron. Um, yeah, that does not like to stay together. I wish it did, though. Uh, a lot of it does not like to tab in, and it's mostly panel lines. So that sucks. Um, it doesn't like to stay together all the way. I think I may have... Oh, crap, stuff is falling. I think I may have uh, screwed something up. Screwed something over. So, yeah. Um, yeah. It's still pretty alright. Okay, for some reason, my uh, light uh, died. Yeah. Um, pretty good transformation. Now, I did have a little bit of complaints with it, and that is panel lining, but also the back. Now, the back looks horrible. But, I mean, isn't that expected, expected when we're getting truck figures? But they could have fixed it. Now, what they could have maybe have possibly done is, instead of weapon storage, because though there is this, this tab right here, we'll tab into here. I can never really get it in properly, but I'll try to do it. I don't think I'm going to be, yeah, I can't, I can't. But yeah, if they got rid of that, the weapon storage, they could have flipped in the flipped in the toes to make it look cleaner. Just do that, uh, just to make it look natural, because there's a huge ass gap right there. So yeah, they could have flipped the toes in a little more, the feet in. But eh, it's okay. Um, but yeah, still pretty all right. You, it's, it's alright. I'm just gonna say that. It's an alright alt mode. So yeah. Um, but let's get into the vehicle comparisons. So. 
Okay, and stars off, we have, um, uh, crosshairs. So, I don't know. This is a pretty small truck compared to, uh, Corvette, so yeah. And it's alright. So, subs to Bumblebee. So, yeah. so, again, just like, pretty, not a lot of length in it. So, yeah. And then here we have Studio Series, uh, the Optimus Prime. Now, back to the, the, the cable problem. Yes, it is done on the Optimus 2. I mean, it is expected at this point that trucks will have kibble. Scourge had a little bit of kibble, so that's the only clean thing that we had. Um, I don't think, I don't know if Dark of the Moon Megatron had kibble. Well, in the back. Uh, those are like the only trucks that I think. Uh, the only trucks I do know that look clean enough, because I've seen from images, is pretty much the Dark of the Moon. Not the Dark of the Moon. The, the, the Bayverse Prime. The original three Bayverse Prime movies. So yeah, that figure has a cleaner uh, back. And I believe this was designed robot first. I think it could have been alt mode, but yeah, I think this was designed robot first. So, pretty cool. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I highly recommend the figure. I really do. Even though he does have a little bit of flaws, I do recommend the figure. He's amazing. Uh, transformation can be a little bit of a pain though, especially with panel lines. Um, but yeah, um, hope you enjoyed the video, uh, I will see you guys next time, uh, bye-bye.